ways of getting into the, this um, retail floor. So again, because some banks have some opposition from the tenants, or they looked at um, the from the tenants, or looked at it from Z Guard or Nishi Half Guard. Again, you see this a lot where I'm playing like a seated butterfly guard. Carl's um, Carl's looking to get my feet on the mat. This is just what we're doing. So. He's playing now from a passing perspective. Again, there's three ways of getting cards back on the map. I can enter with a foot and push. Okay. I can um, level change, grab the ankles and put them down, or I can do a combo. Because sometimes when you reach for the ankle, a card can arm drag me. Must be getting my back and stuff. So I still think the best way, and because most people arm drag um, the right arm, it makes sense to pick up. The right leg with the left hand and push like this, and then I can start to work my passing perspective. But sometimes that's easy stuff. If you think about Kiara, has to get his hands to my feet. So when I'm playing the seated butterfly position, I don't want my hands, I don't want my feet, sorry, in front of my hands. I actually want my hands in front of my feet. So anything Kiara reaches to get my feet, he has to get past my hands. If that makes sense. So it becomes basically a uh, a hand fight from this position. But another thing you can do is, if he can't pick up my ankles, he can step through that space with his foot with the underhook and just go for that knee slide and, and fill that space in my hip and then we're straight in. So we looked at defending against the knee slides last time from Zegar or Nishi Kafka, let's look at it from the seated butterfly guard. So again, but if my hands aren't in front of my feet and Karai Easy bends over and picks my ankles up, this is not a uh, scenario I want to end up in. So I want to monitor that space, my hands here. The second he enters with his foot and wins that underhook, immediately, even though he's controlling that inside space, my outside hand, the one he's underhook, is going to grab his leg and hug it. I've even got his arms wrapped in here, and my right hand makes a post. So a car tries to flatten me out. No matter where he goes, I'm moving. And my head, see I'm using my head, just into his, inside his leg here. So obviously I'm not going to stay here indefinitely, but if I can keep my back off the mat and keep Carr from getting his knee to the mat, this is good for me. So from here, I'm going to try. I'm going to hip escape and go shin to shin. Okay. From there, my hand was on the mat, it's going to go on his forehead, and I just sit back on my back and I'm going to elevate Carr's leg up and switch the single leg X. Okay. So Carr's right leg's on my armpit, my left hand, grabs my butt. Again, a lot of the times people will try to posture here and start to try and strip this foot. The minute he does, I can lift my hip and take him down. So, we look at a couple of different scenarios from here. If you haven't done too much from the leg lock position, all I want to do is I want to post with my outside leg on Carl's hip. I'm going to use my right hand to get a bend in the leg. I want a 90 degree bend in this leg as my left hand's coming underneath the Achilles. Okay? So from there, I'll get hand to hand. Turn my shoulder and put my head on the mat. Here. Sometimes a reaction is or a defense, try to push that down and step over. The second he does, my other foot comes over and fills that space. My second foot comes in, I'll hip out to get a bend in the leg, and then I can finish again from that position. That's from the first position. Or sometimes they don't do that. And what they do is they just put the boot on. So it's very hard for me to finish the Achilles lock because I'm halfway up his calf now. Because originally I was right here with a bent leg. Here. When the second he puts the boot on, I end up halfway up his calf in his cross section. So rather than trying to fight to get a bend in his leg, we're going to try and pass. So from here, my right hand grabs the shin. My left comes out and I straighten my body to drag this across. Okay, from here it's just taking the stand up. Posting with my left hand, and my right hand finds the far hip and I move laterally into the leg drag position. Controlling the hips, control the inside arm, win the underhook, cross face, So depending on what level you're at, if you haven't done much in the leg drag department, I would just say you come away with the same thing right? So again, from this seated butterfly guard position, the thing is, my hands have to be. So if my hands are out in front, I can bait Carl into trying to grab them. Go, and then I pull my feet back, and I am um, 
in control. I don't even have to wait for him to win the underhook and cut cross pass. Immediately, because I have hand control, I can scoot forward and get to this position. John posted. From there, I can hip the escape back, shin to shin, hand comes on the hip, and now I just put my back on the mat and elevate Carr's right leg up in the air. Let's see if I can over and clamp down. So my right leg is underneath, controlling the hip. My left, I don't want to come too far with this leg, because sometimes that's called a reap. So I want my heel right in this hip. And again, I grab my own butt, lift my hip off the mat, and then just curl it in this position. So immediately, I want to be trying to get a bend in this leg. So my right foot is coming into the crook of the, the knee, the back of the knee. I put my hand on the mat and hip back to try and get a bend in this leg. I also want the sharp bit of my wrist right under his Achilles. Again, I don't want to leave this arm looping. Current can sit up and try and strip that grip. Hard to finish it one-handed. Not impossible. So I'll keep this elbow clamped in my body. I'm loading all my weight onto his Achilles here. The sharp bit of my wrist is right on his Achilles. And then from there, I just bring my shoulder under me and put my face in the mat. I push off with my left foot. From here, Carl might decide to, to push that foot down. This foot comes back over, and the one that he pushed down replaces the other one. And then I shrimp out and get a bend in that leg again. So that goes <coughs> out. Or, the other thing he might do is just put the boot on. So I don't want to try and get into a ball of trying to get this bend, especially if his knee's facing up. So my right hand controls, I just straighten this arm and pull it across my body. Now I sit up and fill the space. So, my right foot finds the far hip, I just do tight and get stand up. Coming up on my knee, stay without any sideways, control that inside space, elbows clamping the hips, holding the cross face, control the right hip. Okay, we're doing that. This time car is trying to cut across, so my hands are monitoring that space. The second he wins that cross face, I'm in and I'm hugging it. See this arms are ready inside. Even though he has control, I make that grip, and I post my hand, and I'm using my head, and he tries to flatten me out. And I keep moving, and when I'm on the track, I bring my shin in front of the cars. Okay, that's just first and first and first, you can see. So I'm here. This inside control doesn't really mean anything. Here. And again, when I elevate him, when I'm shin to shin, I don't want my knee pointing up. I want as much of my shin on as, on as much as his. So I turn my shin out. Hand goes on the far hip. Just put your back on the mat, and you're going to elevate his leg. And then my leg comes to the outside and clamp down. Again, this can turn into a different scenario. If Carl keeps turning this way, we can end up coming into a different leg lock. Just stand up, but if we keep it simple, just go single leg X. From here, a lot of people will try to posture and remove this foot. The second he does, he just lift my hips. So from there. I'm going to butts on the mat, so I lift my butt off the mat, grab my own, and then from there I just turn my head. Take a move. As he's falling, I'm already cinching back to get a bend in that knee. So, one, here, he puts the boot on, I can drag it across. Again, if this knee's out, sometimes I'll pull that in my hip before I find the forehead. So if it's out here, it's difficult to come across. Like, okay, you can use this, you have to try it. You can use this as a, as a frame. So make sure I pull this through my hip. So when I find that far hip, I can shove it. And then show the inside space, pull myself in, and cross face. And this I can show the one like Maybe he's not cut crossing, so we, we want to be proactive. So as long as I'm monitoring that space, immediately I can just enter into it. And then when I can choose when you go shin to shin. Elevate him. Take it over. First one. Getting the bend in the leg. So I'm driving with my outside foot. Forcing to get the bend. And then I'm Carl pushes my foot down, so the one he steps over comes to the inside, and the one that was on the far side comes over, and I'd use that to hit by 
to get a bend in the leg again. Again, if he reaches for this, sometimes he can just let it go because it's be, and it can re jump again. He puts the boot on from here, I lean back, drag it across, find the knee, and bring it to my hip. Then I do tell you to stand up. So my weight's on my right foot, find that hip, and I come across from the knee. Side lift, control the inside space, moving from um, Ada's butt to shoulder level, move the cross face, control the inside. Okay, so.